Hey everyone, it's Project SBC, and let's talk about the newly announced device from a company called TJD. They announced it this morning. It's a Windows handheld. It's called the T10, and uh, I really didn't expect this coming from a company like TJD. If we go and we Google them, we can go see their Amazon store page. They sell a whole bunch of Android tablets. They are a legit company. I just don't see any Windows devices that they make. So seeing them make a device like a Windows handheld kind of took me by surprise. But they've announced it. It's got a 10.1 inch screen and that's kind of their claim to fame. It's a candy bar style device. And uh, as you can see, it has a pretty decently sized screen on it. It almost looks like one of those tablets that has the telescoping controller. You know, if I go look at a video from ETA Prime, he's got his tablet here. He's got his telescoping controller. Yeah, I, I see the resemblance there. Yep, definitely. And uh, people joke around, they say that this one here kind of looks like a Fisher Price toy. And yeah, seeing the blue joysticks, the buttons, yeah, it kind of reminds me of a Fisher Price toy. You know, they've got that little game controller Fisher Price toy. Kind of got that vibe. And uh, and the D-pad here, I'm not sure about that D-pad. That D-pad looks questionable. We'll talk more about that later. Three different color schemes. It's nice to see some variety. There's a Facebook group, and I'll leave a link to that and the uh, website here in the description below in case you're interested in seeing it. So uh, yeah, the screen, 1200p, 500 nits of brightness, 130% sRGB. The screen's going to look amazing. And you know, with the placement of the screen, the screen coming up off the top of the device, I think it's going to it's going to look nice. It's going to feel a little bit better to look at than some of the other candy bar devices that we have where the screen is flush with where your hands are. Moving that screen up just a little bit, I think it's going to help the viewing angle. I think it's going to help make games a little bit more immersive, that 10-inch screen. It's going to be nice. We've got Ryzen 7 7840U, just like all the other devices, the new Win 4, the new Win Max 2, the Air 1S. They've all got the 7840U in it, the One X Player 2 Pro and the One X Fly. Yep, pretty standard. Just didn't expect that from a company like TJD. And I know Chinese manufacturers, they'll take PCB designs, they'll open them up to other companies to buy. And that may be one of these situations. PCB manufacturers said, hey, I can give you a mobile 7840U motherboard that you can slap in something. TJD said, yep, okay, give it to me. We're going to make a device. Some more features, USB 4, so you can do eGPU. It's got a USB 3.0 micro SD card slot. That's good to have. Headphone jack, RGB, 35 watts, fancy fan grill, ergonomic design. It's all pretty standard fare. Here's another look at the yellowish gold one. I'm not too sure I like the color on this. That color scheme doesn't really work for me. They're claiming hall joysticks and triggers, gyroscope. But if we take a look at this, it says Ion Neo. So are they stealing some of the, the content from the Ion Neo campaign? Yeah, that could be the case. So here's another overview of the front of the device. Um, layout looks pretty, pretty good. This joystick here, I'm, I'm not a big fan of fighting games. I do play a few that use a D-pad. I'm not sure if that D-pad's going to be usable. We're really going to have to get that in our hands to see how usable it is. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm questioning that D-pad. I'm also questioning the portability of the device. Let's talk about the usability. I think it's going to be fine to use. This is an 890 gram device. The One X Player 2 is in that ballpark as far as weight. And of course, it's lighter than the Win Max 2, which was just over a kilogram. So I think... We're not going to have too much of a problem holding it as long as, you know, you're kind of used to those bigger devices and you like your big screen. I don't think you're going to have a problem finding a nice resting spot for you to play with this. And with that screen kind of shifting your vision up a little bit, I think it's going to probably feel okay for your neck. Ergonomic handles, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be fine to hold. The only problem I'm going to question is the portability. This, this doesn't really fit a, a netbook bag and it doesn't really fit a candy bar case either. I mean, we take a look at this and we've got our WinMax 2. You know, you can find a 10-inch netbook laptop case and it'll work and you're going to have fine carrying it around. You go and you look at like the GPD Win 4, you find a little candy bar case like for the Switch. 
and it just works. This doesn't fit either one of those molds. It's not going to fit a 10 inch netbook bag. You're going to have to get something that's like a 13 inch netbook bag to make it work. You're not going to find a candy bar case that's going to fit this either. And uh, it's a wide device. It's a 343 millimeters. And if we go take a look at the Steam Deck, that's that's over an inch and a half bigger than the Steam Deck. And people thought the Steam Deck was big. This is going to be wide. And, and that's probably going to affect the portability of it. Um, here are some other screenshots of the device. Here's some configurations. So we've got 16 to 64 gigabytes of RAM. We've got that Ryzen 5 and that Ryzen 7 here as well. We've got some different color schemes. Kind of like the white and blue. Does have a little Fisher-Price look. I'm not too sure about this. And yeah, black looks fine. And here's the dimensions. Here's that 343 millimeters. It, it's wide. And then here's some more specs on it. We've got PCIe 4.0, 60 watt hour battery, Wi-Fi 6E, 890 grams. It's all pretty standard fare. So what do you think of this device? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I reached out to the company. I gave them my WeChat and QQ, hoping to get some more information on it. If I do, I will update you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe. And thanks for watching.